The interwar years saw some important innovations in the aviation industry. In 1921, wing walker Wesley May climbed out onto the wing of a Curtis JN4 airplane with a can of fuel and poured it into the gas tank. While this was more a stunt than a practical refueling option, in 1923, two United States Army Service Airco DH-4B biplanes took part in the first air-to-air -air refueling. A hose was run down from a handheld fuel tank in one airplane into the other airplane's fuel filler. A couple of months later, a DH-4B set an endurance record by staying aloft for 37 hours. It was refueled nine times with 687 gallons of gasoline and 38 gallons of engine oil. In 1929, the Spokane Sun God, a Buell CA-6 sesquiplane, made the first non-stop transcontinental round-trip flight. A section of its fuselage was removed so the airplane could be refueled in mid-flight. Pilots Nick Memer and Art Walker flew from Spokane, Washington, to San Francisco, to New York, then back to Spokane. The pilots endured savage storms, smoke from forest fires, and sheer exhaustion. At one point, refueling gas had to be delivered via milk cans lowered on a sling. After 120 hours, Memer and Walker finally arrived back at Feltsfield, Spokane, where they were welcomed by a crowd of 10,000 people. The five-day flight set a world distance record of 7,200 point-to-point miles. Air-to-air -air refueling was just one option for non-stop flying. Slings that hooked fuel cylinders from the ground were also tested. 